I was seeing so much happening in the companies that I was dealing with that was fundamental about how they were using their human resources, how they were looking to replace their human resources. And I, and I realized that there was just very limited discussion on this whole issue of how technology was impacting the workplace and continuing on its current course, what was going to be the future of work? What, you know, what jobs would be, as, as we had in our, our materials before, what jobs would be created, what jobs would be eliminated, how would jobs change, and, and what can we do to try to mitigate this, either by giving people gainful employment, sustainable employment, or other ways to earn a living, or figure out how we better share the gains of technological productivity. Well, I think it was important to bring everybody together because I was getting the sense that um, they were looking at it from too narrow a perspective. The first conversations I had were with economists, and, and they started off very dismissive of this and saying, well, this isn't anything different than what's happened in the past. And we spent a whole day talking about how it is different from what's happened in the past. And, and the economists were very much looking backwards at what had happened in prior recessions. And, and prior technological revolutions. So I thought it was critical that economists hear from technologists who were saying, no, really, this is very different, and it's very significant, and it's very dramatic, and it's accelerating. And so let us prepare you for the changes that are coming. And then hear from people in business who are saying, yeah, we actually are motivated to cut jobs, um, to become more profitable, to use our human resources as efficiently as possible. So I thought that if you just had this discussion within economics or academics or just among business people or HR people or just among technologists, it's a different kind of discussion. And this is such a big issue and it has such significant ramifications. The only way to really get at the heart of it was to bring all of those people together. Hopeful that this would be something that people would accept more immediately that there wasn't going to be that much disagreement that technology is having an impact beyond anything we've seen before. And reading the materials ahead and some of the earlier discussions and, and um, comments, especially by the economists, it, it surprised me that they were resistant to the notion. I feel we made some progress. I felt that their comments as the day went on moved more towards, yes, yes, technology is a big deal. It is changing things. and this distinction between cyclical and structural maybe isn't so important. We do have an issue of how technology is impacting employment, whether it's a net loser, net gainer, those are secondary issues. This is important in and of itself, and we need to talk about how to make the most of it, get the most benefit from it, and how to mitigate the, the costs.